Hey everybody, Scott here for the Helix channel. It's Friday. Holy shit, it's echoey in here. You can probably tell. Eh, there's nothing much left on the walls. There's 15 albums behind me, just the ones that are in camera sight. Um, the ISOCAB, so we can listen to the uh, blue guitar and the HX effects today. Some computer stuff and then a pile of Time Life Old West volumes that I used to use to hold to prop up my speakers. <laughs> anyway, today I'm going to go over some of the presets that I've made for the HX effects into the blue guitar. I'm going to play the blue guitar by itself as well, give you an idea of what that sounds like because it's incredible. Uh, I am using, so that we can listen to this, I'm using my Jet City ISO cab. I can't remember the model number on it. I guess it's just the Jetstream ISO 12. And it is probably the smallest, lightest ISO cab you can buy, and also the least expensive. Actually, I got this one for free. It doesn't get any less expensive than that. A friend gave this to me uh, because he didn't want to try and sell it. And I think I bought it uh, before that. I've had this one twice. <laughs> eh. And another Jet City uh, ISO, ISO cab that I really love because I gutted the inside, put all studio foam inside, a better, much better warehouse uh, guitar speaker, and uh, it just sounded incredible. I used it for a lot of recordings. But this one is a stock, straight stock, and they can tend to sound a little boxy unless you get the mic positioning just right, and which I think I have. It's still a tiny bit boxier than, you know, you would like, but it would still hold up in a, in a recording. Um, it's nowhere near as big sounding as my Marshall, but, you know, this is the way that, you know, shit has to happen at the home studio. So, shall we? All right, here we are over at the rig. Now, um, with the HX effects, um, it's really super easy to program. Just go into the signal flow, and then all your stuff is right here. Uh, you know, everything you've added. Like, uh, I'm using the Kinky Boost, and if I want to see where my settings are, just hold this. This will show up. I can see where my drive is set. I like it uh, for the cleans, to around 3.3. It's a good level that's not uh, pushing it gain-wise. It's just giving it some volume, and I want the uh, the bright turned on for this one, so I'm going to save that. Uh, this is for my uh, 80s clean, which just has some kinky boost. Uh, the effects loop, which is important, that needs to be on. And uh, I leave the trails on so the delay trails and stuff can, can happen. Uh, it's got a 10-band graphic EQ happening. I'm pulling down a bunch of bottom end and a bunch of uh, 1K, which is what I normally do on my 80s clean sound. And then I also have some a dual pitch in front of both of the, uh, uh, the delay and the reverb. That way each one of them has a negative nine and a positive nine uh, pitch shifting that's happening. And a lot of it, maybe not even, not as much as it needs to be. Maybe it needs more. I like more. Less is not more. More is more. Right, Yngwie? And then the uh, the final bits. I've still got room for two more blocks if I want them. Um, I don't think I need them, but uh, you'll see. Uh, the duck delay, which is set to my favorite, 386 milliseconds, 44% feedback. 13% uh, mix just straight out of the box, so it's it's there, but it's not obtrusive. Um, and then the uh, the reverb, the spring on this one. I know it's a little surprising, but uh, I like it, and I might even want a little more mix on that one. So let's save that. Now, uh, I have this set up in snapshot mode, which is, to me, the only way to, to make this combination work. 
I did recently read about somebody using the uh, the foot switch out on the uh, blue guitar to change the um, or on the uh, uh, HXFX to change the channels on the uh, blue guitar, and I'm going to try that because I would like to use the separate channels, but for now I'm just using the clean, and I find that it sounds incredible, and the overdrives going into it, they really work. So you know, let me play you some uh, some '80s clean bits real quick. Those are my 80s clean bits. My vintage clean is basically the same thing as my 80s clean, but without any, without any, uh, what do you call it? Any pitch shifting, I believe. Pretty basic, but, but, but definitely solid. Now, on the blue guitar, I'm running the, uh, the only control that I really change from gig to gig is the, um, I change a little bit of the EQ from time to time. Uh, my master volume, important. I probably run it about five to five and a half at the gig. Um, I leave the master and the gain off on the overdrives because then I can use this as a kill switch. When I go into this, everything's dead. So that's handy if I want to kill switch. Um, the volume, we can, I can get more gain out of the, uh, out of the clean if I want it, but I've got it pretty much at the, at the highest point before it's going to start breaking up. You can get a really fun, saturated clean sound out of this thing, uh, if that's what you're into. I'm not really into that, but, uh, and then there's, you know, the extra reverb. So let's hear this without the, the extra reverb. <laughs> So on certain clean bits, I will add the extra reverb if I want some more ambience to the sound or or if I'm doing a big solo and I want the reverb to really hang in the air. I can add a bunch of extra reverb if I want. Now, uh, as far as uh, leads on the clean, I use the boost over here on the, uh, on the amp one because it's set up uh, as a perfect clean boost. I use it for uh, overdriven stuff too, but I, I like to make a special preset for uh for leads here because I can give myself extra gain, you know, extra volume, extra uh EQing and whatnot. And this is just basically just boosting it, giving it a little bit more uh masterish volume kind of situation. But it's really just an amplified version of what you've already got going on. So here's my clean. Pretty slick. I love it. Now my Duran Duran is just a, uh, a big crunch sound. Not really a ton of gain. Um, if I go into the, uh, the signal flow and I look at my uh, what's going on with the overdrives, I'm using the Kinky Boost and it's very low. It's uh, 2.2 I believe. And then the uh, Compulsive drive is also 2.2. So not a ton of, uh, of drive on these, but let me save that because I think it might have been 2.1. Uh, but it's very, very crunchy. <laughs> And 
and I can press the boost here to get leads for that. Or I can press my 80s lead over here. Sorry, I haven't played in a few days. I'm a little rusty. I've been busy uh, tearing this place apart, getting ready for the move. But the, uh, yeah, the, the 80s lead is a big lead sound. My creep clean. I'm gonna back this thing up. Let's see what's what's on the wall. Not much. <laughs> I just left those those few albums, and uh, I'm walking my tripod around actually right now. And my uh, well, two pair of tripods. One has the uh, audio recorder on it. My Zoom H4n. There's my subwoofer. My MIDI keyboard. This desk has never been so clean. And uh, yeah, nothing on the ceiling. Nothing on the walls. Except for spots that I've been spackling where 107 albums used to be and three guitars used to hang. There's the uh, Jet City ISO cab. Good times. And the final guitar just because it's holding up the, uh, the other light. <laughs> oh, good times. There you go. This is my final video here in this particular studio it's a tiny room i'm gonna grab the camera and show you in a minute but uh yeah i've honestly filmed all of my videos in this room starting going all the way back to 2011 2010 i think it was when i made shot my first video in here uh for the g system um yeah so my entire history of, of video uh, videos on YouTube and, and Facebook were in this room. Uh, the new studio is going to be a corner of my bedroom because I don't have a dedicated room like this one, sadly. Oh, I know it's sad, but I'll make it work. And uh, yeah, so I will be back hopefully on Monday. Hopefully I'll have my, uh, my new little studio put together enough to, to shoot something. More HX effects into the blue guitar uh, next week as well, because next week is really just putting together the whole new apartment and everything. And uh, getting prepared for a couple of gigs, a couple of fill-in gigs, uh, Thursday and Friday night. So there's that. But, um, yeah, I'll get back to the, uh, the punk guitar uh, preset package in, a, in, an, uh, in another week. And then I'll get started on that one in earnest. Goes to camp. So, uh, don't forget, um, in the description, there is a link to my uh, website, scottminch.com. You can get uh, tutorials there. Uh, all of my free sets are there for the most part. Um, and a lot of my preset packages. So, I will see you on Monday. Have a good weekend. And until then. Rock on.